You must stop your bus between fifteen to fifty feet before a railroad crossing. You need to evacuate your bus in an emergency. Passengers should be directed to a safe place no less than feet from the bus. A hundred feet. Off tracking of the rear wheels is affected by All the answers are correct. Faster speed on turns and curves, sharper turns and curves, and greater distance between the front and rear wheels. Your bus is disabled. The bus with riders aboard may be towed or pushed to a safe place only if getting off the bus would be riskier for the riders. When driving more than 40 miles per hour, what is the safe minimum following distance for idle daytime conditions? One second for every 10 feet of vehicle length, rounded upward plus one second. If you have riders aboard, you must never fuel your bus. In a closed building. Carry-on baggage cannot be stored in the aisle. The driver's seat should be adjusted only when the bus is at a stop. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except on the front wheels. When you're not sure who has the right of way, the safest course of action is to Let the other driver have the right of way. Commercial bus drivers must have a CDL if they drive a vehicle that is designed to carry more than 16 passengers, including the driver. The inner lock system for the brake and accelerator on a transit coach may be used as a safety feature when the exit door is open. According to the federal regulations, the minimum depth 
required for tire thread on steering axle tires is of an inch. Four by thirty two of an inch. Which of these forms of signaling is not recommended? Signaling to others that is safe to pass your bus. The standy line is. A two inch line on the floor to the rear of the driver's seat. All the following should be in good working order before driving. Which item must be in good working order before the bus can leave? Service brakes. At the end of each shift, you should. All of the answers are correct. Inspect your bus, report any defects, and take all of your personal belongings. Before you start to drive, you must inspect all of the following except. The AM and FM radio. The traffic light on a drawbridge is green. You would. Slow down and make sure it's safe to proceed. If you're performing your vehicle inspection test on a coach or transit bus, you will have to inspect the baggage compartments and make sure that the baggage compartment doors securely. Latch securely. Bus accidents often happen at intersections. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track. Fifteen feet. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? All of the above. Before and after signaling the change, right after starting the lane change, and after completing the lane change. Federal regulations set an axle weight limit of pounds on a tandem axle that is four feet apart. Thirty-four thousand pounds. At drawbridges, with no signal, you must stop at least fifty feet before the draw of the bridge. A bus may carry baggage or freight only if it is secure, so that all answers are correct. The driver can move freely and easily. Any driver can use all exits, and riders are protected from falling or shifting packages. In general, standees on a bus are not permitted. In front of the standy line, rules require shippers to mark containers of hazardous materials with All of the answers are correct. Materials name as well as ID number and hazard label. 
The following are some situations that require special attention from the drivers. Which one is even bigger problem for the driver of a vehicle with a low ground clearance? Humps or dips in the road? A straight vehicle weighing 20,000 pounds, which house 20 passengers, falls into which CDL class? C. Prohibited practices on the bus include All answers are correct. Fueling your bus with riders on board, talking with riders while driving, and towing a disabled bus. You must put a loaded bus into motion from a stopped position on a steep upgrade. Which of these is the best technique to follow when you have a bus with a manual transmission? Slowly release the clutch while releasing the parking brakes. You may sometimes haul small arms, ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all hazardous materials must not be greater than pounds. Five hundred pounds. Which of these is a good rule for backing a straight bus? No answer is correct. How are buses to handle most railroad grade crossings? Come to a complete stop before crossing. Which of the following statements about hazardous materials are false? You can carry any hazardous materials on your bus as long as they are properly labeled. If a passenger is drunk or disruptive, you may Do any of the above. Follow your carrier's guidelines for dealing with unruly passengers. Drop the person off in a safe, well-lit public area where there are other people, or drop the person off at the next scheduled stop. Always check the interior of the bus before driving to ensure rider safety. What are you looking for? Out of the above, the emergency exit sign on an emergency door must be clearly visible. Aisles and stairwells should be always clear, and all seats must be securely fastened to the bus. To prevent theft and vandalism on a charter bus. Do not allow riders on the bus until departure time. When pulling out of a bus stop, watch for poles and tree branches. Which of the following answers list the three types of emergency equipment you must have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electrical fuses, and emergency reflectors. Due to the extreme size of a bus, the driver must watch for
All of the answers are correct. Poles and wires, clearance your bus needs, and gaps your bus needs to accelerate. When do you sign post inspection reports? After it is certified and there are no repairs needed. Which of the following statements about speed management is true? You should be able to stop within the distance that you see ahead. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline aboard your bus, you should. Not allow them to do so. When arriving at the destination announce. All of the answers are correct, the location and departure time, and the reason for stopping. In a pressurized cooling system, coolant level should be checked. No answers are correct. When howling hazardous material on a bus, the total weight for any one type of substance cannot exceed. A hundred. If your bus has an emergency exit door, it must be secure when operating the bus. When must a driver inspection report be completed? At the end of every workday. Federal regulations do not allow a driver to drive if he or she is ill or impaired and the condition interferes with the ability to drive safely. Which of the following types of cargo can never be carried in a bus with riders? Tear gas. You do not have to stop but slow down at. All of the answers are correct. Streetcar crossing, railroad tracks marked as XM or abandoned, or when a policeman or flagman is directing traffic. An oncoming vehicle keeps its high beams on. You should deal with this hazard by looking to the right side of your lane. In general, the best braking technique to use in maintaining a safe speed when driving on a downgrade is Use the snob braking method. Which of the following statements about gear ranges in buses with automatic transmission is true? Lowest ranges should be used for greater engine braking on downgrades. The proper time to cancel your turn signal for a lane change or turn is when the maneuver is complete. If your bus becomes disabled on a freeway or expressway and you must stop on the left side of the road, it is best to stop so that the bus is
at an angle to traffic with the front door facing the downstream side of the traffic. Which of the following must be closed while the bus is in motion? Emergency windows. If your bus leans towards the outside on a banked curve, you are driving too fast. How many folding aisle seats are allowed in a bus? Zero. While crossing railroad tracks, you should if your bus has a manual transmission. Not shift gears. During your pre-trip inspection, you should sign the previous driver's report only if no defects are listed on it. The defects listed on it have been certified as either repaired or not needing to be repaired. Can a bus carry 100 pounds each of class 1, class 3, class 4, and class 5 hazardous materials? Yes. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much braking distance as 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. You do not have to stop, but you must slow down and check for other vehicles. At a street car crossing, it is best to wear your seatbelt. Always. Which of these is the best general rule for night driving? Increase the normal daytime following distance by one second. Buses may carry. Small arms ammunition labeled ORMD. As a driver of a bus, how can you best avoid hindering other traffic on the highway? By staying in the right hand lane. The posted speed on a curve is. Safe for cars and buses in bad weather. Which of the following statements about the roof hatches is true? You can lock the roof hatches in a partly open position for fresh air. Shorter drivers should All answers are correct. Not allow riders on the bus until departure time and mention and explain the rules. A disruptive passenger should not be discharged where it would be unsafe for them. When it is carried on a bus, hazardous material must be Labeled. You must be alert for road hazards so that
you have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Before leaving your stop, you should Wait for a sufficient gap in traffic. When you inspect your bus, you must make sure that all of the answers are correct. Every handhold and railing are secure, rider signaling devices are working, and emergency exit handles are secure. Shorter bus drivers should Remind riders to take carry-ons with them whenever they get off the bus. Which of the following statements about the interior of a bus is false? If you use your outside lights, you don't need to turn on the red emergency door light. When the roads are slippery, you should keep much more space than in idle driving conditions. Which seats must be equipped with a seatbelt? The driver's seat. You have passed all the requirements for a Class B bus driver's license. Which of these vehicles are you not licensed to drive? Class A bus.